What's up guys, welcome back to Tech Phantom. And as you all know that yesterday the OnePlus 10 Pro is being launched. And here are some of my takes on the OnePlus 10 Pro, whether you should consider buying this smartphone or you should skip this smartphone. Now before getting into this video, if you are new here then do consider subscribing to our channel Tech Phantom and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update from us. So now that you have done that, let's get started. Now starting off with the pros for the OnePlus 10 Pro, then this smartphone do comes with a larger 6.7 inch of a 2K display and it's a 120Hz of LPTO generation 2.0 which means that you can get a refresh rate of up to down to 1 to 120Hz and that depends on the content which you are seeing. When you are not using your phone and you have the display still then the refresh rate will go to 1Hz and if you are using some such as the game intensive task on your smartphone then your refresh rate will bump up to 120Hz and that really helps the battery life capacity and talking about the battery life then the battery life of the OnePlus 10 Pro is a 5000 milliamp battery which is an 11% increment for the OnePlus 9 Pro. Not only that, the charging speed has also been increased and it's now 80 watts from the 65 watt of charging and the charging and charger has been renamed from the Warp Charge towards the SuperWook from the Oppo. Now one more thing about this smartphone which is inspired by the Oppo is that the software. The OnePlus 10 Pro is the first smartphone from the OnePlus which runs on the Oppo's Color OS code base which means that you will be able to see, we hope that you will be able to see a much more better software stability on this OnePlus phones. Although we know that the OnePlus has been pretty much good on their software side, but the Oppo integration will be bringing the best of the both worlds. Now, next thing about this smartphone, bet better about the OnePlus 9 Pro is that the front camera selfie shooter. Now the, this time the front selfie shooter is of 32 megapixels and upgrade from the 16 megapixels which is again a positive upgrade. Now next thing about this OnePlus smartphone is that it do comes with a next generation Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 5G SoC and it also comes with a 7 5G band with the dual SIM tray slots of the 5G. The LPDDR5 RAM support is there with the UFS 3.1 storage for your fast and smooth experience on your flagship smartphone. Now the OnePlus also comes this time with a super cooling feature as we know that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is really struggling with the peak performance. So it do comes with a 5 layer of 3D passive cooling system and but this time around the OnePlus is not coming with the IP certified. Yes, you heard it right. This time the OnePlus 10 Pro is not being IP certified, IP67 as the previous generation from the OnePlus 9 Pro. And not only that, the camera of this smartphone is not too much of an upgrade from the OnePlus 9 Pro. The OnePlus has kept the camera pretty standard with a 48 megapixel of a primary camera, 8 megapixel of telephoto and a 50 megapixel of an ultra wide camera. Now, considering that this, this camera comes with a smaller sensor, so there is no OIS on the camera and you will not be able to see a macro shots from this smartphone as the ultra wide camera doesn't support the OIS and the autofocus. Now, price of this OnePlus 10 Pro is also been an increment as it will be starting for 62,499 as the OnePlus is marketing with the bank discount of 4,500 rupees. Now what do you think about this OnePlus 10 Pro? Are you going to buy this OnePlus 10 Pro or will you consider buying the Samsung Galaxy S22 which is the flagship experience from the Samsung with a smaller display size and overall footprint? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below in the community poll and if you enjoyed this video then do consider subscribing to our channel Tech Phantom and I'll see you in the way next one. Thanks for watching.